Giving it all we got Giving it all we can Giving it all we got oh. Climbing up to the top of the world No fear, we're gonna make it Everything we want is ours Woo! Sun is baking. How y'all doing? Uncle Craig here. And uh, just took a shower. I was relaxing, but then my wife said, let's go get some fish for the pond that we have now cleared out. If you remember, we had, where are you gonna do that on the stairs? Okay, hold on there. Uh, we had all of this pond grass stacked up over here. Well, I personally, by hand, pulled it back off in there and floated across. But we also paid someone to help us get rid of the rest of the grass. So now you can see it's all cleared out. But it's all on the banks. Those banks. I took it off of this one, but it's on all those two banks there. And it is, uh, let me see if I can get that shot. Uh, it's hopefully it'll dry up without stinking up the neighborhood. But we went down the road here to one of our fish uh, farmers hatchery, and we got uh, 20. What'd you get, Dot? 20? Like 20 uh, Mekong catfish. Some of you might remember that we had Mekong in here, but we couldn't find them or whatever, so it's kind of weird. But we do have them. We've been in the water for a bit, so my wife's gonna get ready. Oh, hey, open that bag up so I can stick this camera in there, honey. See what they look like. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, woo, they're gonna be set free in there. There they go, man. Hey, what else? Yeah, I think so. Got any in your hand there? No. Well, that's it. Gone. With any luck, in about a in about a year's time, they'll be too big for the pond. Yeah. That's what he said, honey. Right about a year, they'll be like pretty big. He showed us some pictures of, of how big it should be after about a year. Yeah, he showed all the different kinds of fish actually on his phone. He was scrolling through there. But yeah, the 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 ponds. Yeah, I saw it, right? He's already... They might congregate together, too, because, you know, safety in numbers on a new place or whatever. <laughs> yeah, probably thinks he's free. Yeah. I can already see that, um, you know, after clearing the pond, I know we're up to here and they're pulling all that out. But... After you clear it, you know, with the temperature and this and that, we'll start to get all that um, green flowering kind of algae on the top. I guess it's an algae, but my wife, last year anyway, well, it's the only year since we've just been here, but she was pretty good about going out there in the boat and just skimming all that stuff up, and she would bag it up and and put it um, into the other pond for the fish to eat. What are you doing over there, man? I 
I was watching some guy in the front of the property. What's he doing? I'll be right back. Ah, it was nothing. Some guy on the motorcycle stopped. I think he's picking up maybe an old rice bag that blew around and a, and a piece of rope. Did I bring up my rope? Oh, here it is. Well, the work I was doing on the on the front gate. So I started to dig it up because I figured I'm gonna have to make that whole plateau, you know, thing coming across here. That's where I nailed in the strain to keep it level. Um, but and I probably mentioned that I had 20 ideas on how to do this and, and I thought that you know I need to backfill that whole area I was gonna put some holes in the ground right there and um, make the wall and then you know make it all level and stuff like that and I gotta put a bunch of concrete and and then uh, as well, I mean, I could just leave that there and then the gate would have like, you know, kind of like nice tires on it and it could just simply run across all this stuff. But it is, um, you know, it is at a slope. So I'd probably have to make one tire down lower or one tire up higher in order to make the gate not want to fall out this way, right? And then I thought, well, maybe I should just make it level and I'll do like a cement level across here. It would, it would go down and then it would have to hit the cement and go flat and then hit here. So driving over here would have this, you know, you drive down and kind of go ba bump bump to get in the driveway, I guess, if I wanted it totally level, which is probably not a big deal, but what I thought of, I forget when I thought of it, I, I think when I was working on the gate, it, it kind of came to me because I was measuring the width of how, you know, how wide of a street or whatever, how wide of a paver I need to make in order to have the, you know, the gate travel along it. And then um, I thought to myself that it, it was about as wide as one of those cement planks I use for the deck out there. And then, I, then it dawned on me, wait a minute, man. I think one of those planks is the same width or the same length as what I need on that like the same length between the two pillars so then I went and measured it and yep it is so what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna save myself some definitely some energy although those things are heavier than shit but um, I'm just gonna um, buy two of those and I'm gonna mount one up that way and then I'll mount the other one up right across the road. And then I don't have to, I'm not gonna dig it out obviously and put it in place and level and all that stuff. But then basically those two pieces of cement plank will serve as a very flat, uh, I'll just make it level, but as a nice perfect surface for the gate to run on. Um, on its wheels and if I wanted to switch to a track system where it, where it was a, a steel wheel that ran along the, that little nipple track um, I could do that because it was so flat that I wouldn't have to worry about that track you know trying to be like this and getting all wonky and stuff so I thought damn that's a good idea so but my own concern of course is that they're so heavy i mean i did you know put all those in place by hand but i used you know the old 
Roman days kind of thing. Just put something round underneath it and move it, move heavy stuff. Kind of like they did with the pyramids. That's what I say anyway. <laughs> they just made big round pillars of cement. And they built that stuff on top of the pillars and they could roll it. We know aliens did that. But, uh, yeah, so just got to go down the road in peace. Order two of those. Hopefully, uh, they know that they're super heavy, so I'm not going to be able to even put them on a pickup truck. I think I'm going to take the motor scooter out there so I can get some wind in my face. And, um, and order two of those. Maybe they can bring them at the end of the day today. And I'll just have the boom truck lay it right down uh, in front of the gate. And if he can swing that other boom over to the back, over to the side, I can have him drop it right down there where it should be. And even though I don't have it all set up with like a cement, you know, like the posts where it would set on top and all that, that I can do. If it's in place, no problem. The road in the middle, I can dig it out fair enough very quickly so that it lies like I need it to all level. And then the one on this side where I had previously already dug all that up. I could easily, I mean, if I have to, I would just, it, it's probably going to get set down and be like this. So I'll need to lift it up like this. Um, I just put a board in there and I can use my car jack to make it go level it, you know, until I put whatever I'm going to put underneath there. Initially, I thought, well, I'll just hammer a pipe all the way down, which I still may do, and put a T put a flat flat bar T on top of it like you know maybe make one that slips inside the pipe uh, in the back end anyway and that'll probably be enough to hold it up you know it's not weight bearing it's not gonna be super heavy the gate so yeah making headway man I like it I'm probably gonna put more fish in the pond as you know in the weeks to come or whatever but I wanted to get those in there early see what See how well they do. Yeah? Is that interesting? Well, for some of you who visit the farm out here, and maybe you think to yourself, hey, I'm going to be in Thailand next year. I'm going to go over there to that, that Uncle Craig Bonnock place. Check it out. Well, maybe you'll just have to fish for one of those. Catch yourself a giant Mekong catfish. Sounds cool. I'm not even really sweating, but I am going to go change my shirt so I can go down to the cement place, get dirty, pick my slabs, have them bring them out here. All right, man. Well, if I get them out here today, I'll just see what that looks like. Well, hey there. As previously told, I said I'd uh, let's take a look at it after I got those planks so I got them and then I spent about an hour kind of putting putting them in place or putting one in place see how I could do it I did did have to I just got out of the shower by the way I did have to do a lot of digging but I think it's gonna do the job man check it out boom so let's look at it from the other side so what I did was, I put that, I had to dig it down on this side, to make it level. So you can see the other side is a deeper side, so no problem. And I did have extra dirt, so I just put it on this back side to make this level. And it looks like it's going to be pretty much level with the, with the road here. That's not a problem. But uh, I first thought about sand, and then I thought it's going to be probably uh, uh, you know getting wet and this and that so I might just go get a load of gravel then just dump gravel over the whole thing but you know just drive my truck over it a few times it'll beat it down away from the top part and it'll just kind of beat into the sides and then it'll glide over that way and on the top I put this one on this side but it's just hanging out here for now because uh, you can take a look at that I got some I got some work to do but it's going to be a hell of a lot easier than digging it up and stuff. I'm just going to be putting 
support at the end over there maybe in the middle maybe a few bricks on the end prop it up to where it should be and in the middle and maybe rebar those bricks down into the ground or well, these poles right here these are like five foot tall but they were able to pound all the way down because the dirt's not that you know not that hard but anyway that's it man boom i like it i like it a lot mostly because i mean the alternative was dude the alternative was i was gonna have to pour all that concrete mix all that concrete go back and forth with my truck with that concrete load after load after load probably would have took me two days but now i don't know it's probably gonna take me i don't know um this this one here is actually done with this exception of uh of maybe the, the gravel coverage you know so um the other one a little bit more difficult this one took me an hour so that'll probably take i'll probably take all day on it but maybe only three or four hours depends on how much of a hard time the dirt gives me and uh but yeah and then uh the next step is really just to rip that gate off oh yeah here let me show you something when I close this gate, I put the level on it to make sure it's level this way and make sure it's level that way so that the gate rolls on it smoothly. But I noticed that when I close this gate and it closes over the top of it, you know, easy enough. I don't know if you can see it from back here. But the gate itself is not straight. Actually with the shadow it makes it makes the cement look like this, but it's not like that. The cement is level and the gate is not level. That's why I noticed when you open this side of the gate, it swings open slowly and it stays open over here. Whereas the other side of the gate tends to fall this way a little bit. So that's because the gate was not level. But that don't matter because when I make the new gate, it will be level. Because it'll travel along the level path. Yeah. Getting closer, man. So as soon as I get that other side done, where the gate is ready to be assembled and put into place. That would be it. I must have walked this road 10 times today, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that again. I'm using the scooter. But hey man, check out the rice. You know what I said? I don't know if it's gonna probably be itchy or what. I was gonna walk. There is a pathway in here. Should I? Nah, I'll wait. I'm gonna walk in the middle of the rice field with my camera. But, anyway. Oh, and hey, remember when I put those black tarps? I bush cut all this stuff in front of the, in front of the uh, garden. And then I bought those two new black tarps and put it all over the ground here. So I didn't have, I didn't have to spray, you know, poison or anything like that. But take a look to the ground. I mean, you can even see the, the dirt exposed. These were all big old weeds and weed mounts, you know. I, I mean, I bush cut it all down, but it was still hugely green, and I didn't haul away any of the grass or whatever. Dude, it was like this high. But putting the tarps over there, this one just moved it over now. But it clearly, you know, basically pushed all this stuff, the heat and stuff. It's only been about a week or so, but it really just pulverized everything into the ground didn't even have to use a you know weed killer or nothing and now we're actually going to re we re uh replant the garden in there so there is move those tarps the two here move those into there uh to go ahead and do the same treatment it's, it's have a lot cheaper better and no weed pulling hey buddy he's like where are you 
there where you've been. Yeah. All right. Well, like I, like I said, if you, if you watch this whole video, like, and you enjoyed that in any way, shape, or form, the sun's blinding my eyes. Uh, then hey man, keep watching. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll get back at you from here on the Mundo.